Good morning, welcome to lecture number 10. Create the first function inside the WinCC V7. So I created the new window M2L10 and this window will contain one button, the same button as we had in M2L9. So we had the first script, now we will have the first function. This function will make the same functionality as we had inside the scripting. So we make the sum of two values A and B and we want to display the result inside message box. But now I want to use the function so I can create the one function and I can use this in all my functionality in all projects so I can calculate something once in function and I can use the result in all my objects on my screens. So I go to Visual Basic Editor and I go to Open. After I opened, I have option the new project module. And this project module is sub procedure one. And if I want to have the function, so function always return the value and sub it's not uh, returning any value so sub is just calculating something but we need to understand that we need to uh, make the uh, give back the value for example into some temporary tax or something but if we use the function option the function procedure one and end function we can make that we can say that add values will be the function and will always return for us the value of this add value. So my function's name is add values and I will put the A and B. So my values is inside A and B and I want to return the value. So my add values function is A plus B. It's the same like we had inside our scripting. But right now we have the function and this function is in our application folder WinCC V7 Visual Basic Scripting and we have the script lib. Inside there you can have your BMO file and this BMO file is always available under this video so you can take my function this big function one line and you can make this okay as you see on project modules we have the add values bmo and under this we have the add values a plus b so let's go to our screen and let's exchange our functionality our calculation to function. Until now we had a plus b but now our function can make the same so we can put my function at values a b. Okay so I could make also the add values uh, one uh, semicolon two but in my opinion right now we are enough to make this functionality. So now we will calculate our values by the function. So function is the global function and we can use in all our programs, in all our objects. So after I click the first function button, I have 11. So my A was two and my B was nine. So we have 11. Now we should have the three inside my first function result yes it, we have so it doesn't matter how you make your function scripting you need to understand that functions you can use a lot of times in your application so if you have something occur very often you should make the function in your project modules but if you make something once you can make on your script, on your button, the same result. Okay, thanks for watching. Let's go to next lecture.